a breakthrough. Psalm 66, verse 12. Psalm 66, verse 12. Psalm 66, verse 12. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a worthy place. We went through water, we went through fire. But in the midst of all this, you brought us out. That's breakthrough. Praise the Lord. That's Kim James Version. So in this morning first service, by the grace of God, we'll be looking at some basic things, both financial breakthrough and what causes them. You will agree with me that in the course of the month, our daddy has dealt much with the spiritual aspect, the ministerial aspect, the church aspect of financial breakthrough. So I will not be dealing with any of this this morning. I will be dealing more on the buying and selling as far as financial breakthrough is concerned. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word finance simply means an activity that produces money. It means an activity that produces funds. Finance is an activity that produces capital. That is to say, anything that puts money in your hand, anything that puts funds in your, man, in your hand, anything that puts capital in your hand has to do with finance. Praise the Lord. So, anything that has to do with money, that has to do with the economy or the management or the making or the ministry or the magnet or the multiplying of money is finance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Breakthrough for me is simply a discovery that changes you for the better. A discovery that changes you for the better. That is to say, we are dealing with financial breakthrough. We are talking about a discovery that will make your finances better. Or rather, a discovery that will put you at edge over your equal when it has to do with the issues of finance, money, or capital. Praise the Lord. From where we read, remember, whether you believe it or not, we have just a few days to the end of 2022. It doesn't matter what has happened to you. It doesn't matter what you have passed through. Scripture says from where we read, we went through fire. That is hardship. We went through water. That is situations that you couldn't control. We went through a lot of things that actually made us think that is God still on the throne. But Scripture is telling us that in the remaining days of 2022, God is going to show up for somebody. He's going to pick somebody from that fire. He's going to pick somebody from that water. And once he picks us, he's taking us not just to any place, but to a worthy place. Praise the Lord. Some translation call that worthy place a spacious place. A place you don't need to struggle. Other translation call that worthy place a place of refreshment. Why some translation call it a place of rest? But the translation I like most is, he said, we have suffered all we needed to suffer. But the Lord brought us later to a place of abundant prosperity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, it is a place of abundant prosperity. It is a place of an overflowing blessing. It's a place where God himself will ensure that you don't beg, you don't struggle to survive. That's the worthy place. And that can only happen when there is what? A financial breakthrough. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me make some few things clear this morning. Martin Luther King, I've said this so many times, said, any religion that cannot cater for the physical welfare, not spiritual, of his people is fake. Any religion that cannot cater for the economic welfare of his people is fake religion. That is why even the blessing came before sin. In Genesis 1.28, man was blessed. Sin came in chapter 3. 
Praise the Lord. So there is the blessing before the cause. Because it's the will of God that we prosper in health, even as our soul prospered. For what reason? Because if you are not blessed, you can't be a blessing. Unfortunately, today's church is the only, let me put the word in quote, religion, that did so much with the spiritual, let me put it this way. The spiritual well-being of its members I have no care for the economic well-being of the same people. That's the reason, whether you believe it or not, the church is being insulted, not only in Nigeria, but across the world. The reason why we are insulted, the reason why we are pushed to and fro, the reason why nobody listens to us, is not because we don't have anointing, it's not because we are not gifted, it's not because we don't have skill. The truth is, when they size you up economically, you can't stand them. Let me shock you. The people that have money make the laws. The people that have money determine what you watch. The people that have money determine what you read. The people that have money determine where you stay. The people that have money to a great extent determine how you think. Because the more you see, the more your mind is worked on. Before you know what is happening, plus your spirituality, you begin to think somehow. Why? Your mind has been fed. It has seen so many things. And before you know it, as a man tickets in his heart, so is he. Praise the Lord. That's the reason in these last two months of 2022, you must make a resolve not just to walk past the year. Let these next two months be the months where you will explode economically because the power has been given to us to do that. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Why? For it is he that giveth us power. Hear me. Power is needed if there is going to be a struggle. It means making money. If it is what you just walked through, power will not be released by God. He said, for it is God that does what? That giveth us what? Power. There is, you need that power for something. Unfortunately, hear me. In today's church, in today's world, we have men and women who just wait for one God to drop a gallon must go in their house in the morning on Sunday so I can have a testimony to share in church. If you receive such money, I beg you, it's a trap. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because many have accepted such and it became a snare unto them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God never intended us to rise without struggle. God never intended us to be blessed doing nothing. God never intended us to have financial breakthrough without an investment. God never wanted us to excel economically folding our hands. If God does that to a great extent, something is wrong with the kingdom. That is why there are some of us that start so well like butterflies but end up in the cocoon because we lack the managerial powers and ability and knowledge on how both to make and manage money. Inheritance that is given to a weak son is waste. Praise the Lord. Inheritance that is given to a weak son or daughter is what? Is waste. Because all your life savings will go down the drain bah, in the twinkling of an eye. Because you didn't build enough capacity and power in that child on how to see, make, and manage money. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are so many in church that just believe. Leave them. The poor will always be in our midst. Why choose? Why choose a photocopy when you can be the original? Praise the Lord. Let me make this point clear, church. God never separated two people and said, this one get money, this one no get. 
God never separated two people and said, this one, I bless you. This one, I curse you. Whatever you have, thank God for what Mama said in Sunday school, genuinely, plus the blessing of God, your impute is there. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. So, in the service this morning, God will help me to unveil some things that will help us. That this next two months, you will make so much money to the glory of God that you will lend to nations. In 1 Timothy 6, verse 10, he said what? For the love of money, Abi, is the root of all evil. Abi, no be so Bible talk. I also submit to you that the lack of money is the cause of many evils. Praise the Lord. The love of money is the root of all evil. We don't contest what the Bible said, but I am submitting to you this morning that 98 to 99 percent of the evils on earth today are caused by lack of no money. Families have seen their children die for lack of no money. A lot of things, people have seen things for lack of no money. That is why people like always tint it to the negative. Hey, the love of money, love of money, love of money. Yes. Do you know that for every 12, there is one Judas? How many of us agree? What of the other 11? The other 11 are good, though, daddy. Abi, they're not good. Nobody remembers where is the Andrew. Nobody remembers where is the James. Nobody remembers where is the Peter. Nobody remembers every other good person. The one we remember in the 12 disciples, Judas 1. What are the other 11? I submit to you this morning, therefore. Stop looking at only the Judas that failed in that business. Stop looking at only the Judas that failed in that career. Stop looking at the Judas that failed in that family. I have good news for you. Your destiny is different from their own. Your destiny is different from their own. Your future is different from their own. The fact that they fail does not guarantee that you must fail. Your path is different. For the path of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. I have good news for somebody. The remaining two months of 2022, you will not beg to eat. Financial breakthrough shall hit your family. There is need to know that God is interested in what you do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Me and no one get money. Money does not make you who you are. There's something money does. Money reveal what you already are. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if your mind day to day carry women, and because you date church, you date all the group, they, they, they do leadership, and you never get money, they go say you near heaven. When money touch your hand, that's you know some people died on the cross. Some fainted at the cross. The ones that fainted, when water pour for their body, they go weak. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So those that fainted, when money touched their hand, they will actually wake up. Oh. You thought they died because sometimes when somebody is in coma, it's like it's as good as dead. But they didn't really die. They were in coma. What forced them into coma is financial penury. Now, money has touched their hands. So money doesn't really make you who you are. It actually reveals what you already are. So many people are humble not because they choose to. Now, money no day. Even in church, you can pick them out as the most humble people in church. It's because they have not really counted money since this year. Praise the Lord. When some alert hits their phone, from that same alert, some of their language will change. But my point this morning is, 
For you that is born again, hear ye the word of the Lord. There is a reason why God has determined to bless you in this season. There is a reason why God has determined to show up on your life. And that reason, by the grace of God, will be unveiling in the course of this message. Hear ye the word of the Lord. If you must be worthy, hear me. Only salary will not do it. Salary can make you rich. It can't make you worthy. No matter the amount they pay you, salary can guarantee your riches. It cannot sustain your wealth. And do you know the irony, my reverend? People where they do business, they envy those where they own earn salary. You know pastor talk? Unfortunately, people where they do business, they do it, eh? Then they envy those where they get and say, hey, oh, I wish I'd be like you. At least, no matter, no matter, no matter, at all, at all, I wish. So far, month end. Even if they no pay self, hungry where get hope, not they kill. Why those that are receiving salary wants to be like those who are in business? Praise the Lord. If you must leave inheritance for your children's children, you must get something doing outside salary. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. I am not saying this to tell you that money can buy happiness. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have power to buy happiness. It only has power to answer all things. If Bible say money answered all things, it means that it get power. Not something so. All things. Some of all this, no worry. I get person where they massage, where, 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 go massage you. This pregnancy now eight months, now money no day. You don't get any month pregnancy where hospital not go to take care of. Mama, I lie. Now story, oh. They go say, no, I know they like hospital. Give her money. Praise the Lord. It answereth not some things. All things. If I will say it now, it will shock you. I'm not the one that says it's in the Bible. Money strong past wisdom. <laughs> he said, a city was delivered by a wise man. But nobody remembered him because he was poor. Put your wisdom into business. Put your wisdom into being an entrepreneur. Put your wisdom. Ask God for definite ideas. Hear me. We are entering the months with the highest opportunities of the year. From January to December, the months that have the highest level of business and financial opportunities is November and December. Anything you shade in November and December, they buy. If you like, increase the price. They will look for the money, they will buy. How do I know? Cloth does not add to what is in your belly. Christmas, you are paying this money that God help Nigeria, things are increasing. You go see clothes where they go buy for Christmas. No matter where the money they climb go, people go struggle. To get them. Now you say it is not important for them. Important, they go buy them. Let me submit to you this morning. Prioritize your liabilities and prioritize your assets. Know what to invest money on and also what to drop in your life. All these things I'm saying, when we bind and lose and cast out demons from your life, it will not change you. Praise the Lord. 
what are your liabilities? What are you spending money on that does not yield a return? You must assess them in your life and family. What are you spending money on that is not bringing back returns? What is the essence why you are doing it? What and what do you have that your children can inherit tomorrow? What and what do you have that you can leave for your family tomorrow? Because... The definition of a good man. A good man is a man. Not the man that prays too much. Not the man that knows the Bible. Not the man that has a big or fine suit. It's a man that liveth inheritance for his children's children. This scripture describes a good man as a man that liveth inheritance. As you are sitting now, what are you preparing to live? When even what you have cannot sustain you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One of the reasons why God doesn't give us financial breakthrough most times is also our motive. Why do you need the money? Hmm. The, 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 the car that Reverend O'Hiz drove to church last Sunday. Oh God. I need to buy a car. After all, he's the assistant resident pastor. I am the resident pastor. Why should this car be bigger than my own? What correlation? Praise the Lord. Many people have told me, why, why do you two like Siana? Why do you uh, buy a better moto? I said, my family big, small moto, big one. Even, uh, what they call him? Uh, oh, he's Highlander. No, carry my family. They're too plenty. Now, why would they come down from moto? You they not say, we, the, our family come. I don't therefore need an infin infinity that cannot contain my family because uh, Rebbe Benga brought infinity to church. If your motive of seeking financial breakthrough is envy, God will give you. No matter how you pray, no matter how you struggle, God will not give you. So many reasons. Uh, one of the major reasons why God hardly blessed members in church is this comparison spirit. Uh, remember, Bible said, they that compare themselves with themselves uh, are not wise. Uh, your destiny is not my destiny. Where I'm going is not where you are going. Uh, even my road is not your road. Uh, why must I do things exactly like you? Why? I used to craft for people that have small, small vehicle in Jedo Road. This road is bad. Don't buy fast moto. It will scatter. Buy moto that's like, like it's like upstairs. They go. If bad, the good, they go. Praise the Lord. Your motives also determine the financial breakthrough you have. Lord bless me. It's asking you why. Yes, now. Hmm. If the purpose of demanding financial breakthrough is not to expand the kingdom and preserve your future, God will not give you. If your reason for demanding financial breakthrough is not to expand the kingdom and preserve your own family for convenience, God will not give you. It is my prayer that as we continue in the second service, I will tell us how to make money, how to manage money, and not to multiply money. Rise on your feet. We have so much opportunities around us. Everything is spirit, 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 spirit. If you want to be 100% spirit, die. May your spirit go meet God. Say so you day here, you be flesh. Praise the Lord. And God needs your hand to do something. He blesses the work of our hands. Father, we thank you for your word. Give us much understanding and let your name be glorified. Help us to see beyond now. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. And the saints will say better, amen.